Hey everybody, it's Eric from the MMG. Welcome to our channel. Today we're going to show you how to set up a enshrouded dedicated server on a Windows machine using Steam CMD. Before we get any farther though, I want to ask you to please hit that subscribe button. It helps me keep growing the community and the channel here and allows me to keep making these videos for you free of charge. If you would like to support us, we do have memberships available on the YouTube channel. And at the lowest tier even, you get top access to comment replies. So if you have a question about your dedicated server, I always reply to my community members first and foremost. And uh, yeah, I may not have your answers, but I will try my best to help you the best that I can. Second thing I wanna mention is I do not do port forwarding in these videos because it's very complicated and everybody's situation is different. You are gonna to have to get that figured out on your own. There is a video in the description of this video that shows you how to do it on a Windows firewall. You're also going to have to do it on your router firewall, and then there's some. sometimes your antivirus will have a firewall. There's lots of stuff to do. Sometimes your service provider will have a built-in firewall for you. So you have to make sure you, you have all that figured out on your own and situated. Otherwise, people are not going to be able to connect externally to your dedicated server. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's get started. If you've never installed Steam CMD, you just need to Google it. Just type in Steam CMD. It's going to be the very top link here, the Valve Developer Community. Click on that. And then download Steam CMD. We're going to be doing it for Windows. There is a Linux client, but we're doing it for Windows today. So click on Windows. And then up here at the very top, it says download it. There's a one. Click on that one. It's going to download it wherever your downloads go for that particular browser you're using. You want to execute this. And I recommend you put it in a folder that you can find easily. I have mine directly on my C drive. And uh, I have a shortcut here on my desktop to it because I obviously make videos off this. So once you have it executed, it should be here in the folder. You want to run it. If it's by itself, that's normal. If it's the first time you've used it, when you run it for the first time, it's going to update and it's going to actually populate a lot of these folders as it downloads the files for you. Once it's done doing all that, you're going to be stopped at a Steam prompt just like we are here. And now we're going to actually... Um, download the uh, server files. Alright, so once you're here at the prompt, you just want to type in login space anonymous and then hit enter. It's going to log you in and then you should be back at a Steam prompt. You are now going to type in app underscore update space and then the number for the dedicated server is 22785225 then just hit enter and it's going to download all the files for you if you haven't already done it I've done it already so it just said successful this could take a little bit of time depending on the speed of your computer and all that If you don't have enough storage if you don't have the right privileges this may not work so you make sure you need to make sure you're an admin on the server that you're installing this on and that you have plenty of dedicated uh, hard drive space where you're installing it this is also how you will update your server so when they put out a new update for enshrouded just go through these steps right here this app update and this number and it will actually update those files for you. So that's how you do that. So once you're at this prompt, you have it, just type in exit, hit enter. Now you wanna to go to common. So actually let's start at the very beginning. You go back to your Steam CMD folder where you um, extracted the Steam CMD.exe. Then you wanna go into the common folder. Then you wanna go into the Steam apps folder. Then common. And then you should see a folder here called Enshrouded Server. That's the files we just downloaded. Click on that. All right, and on this particular game, all you need to do is actually launch the Enshrouded Server.exe first. Double click on that. It should load up the server for you. And uh, basically, you want to get to this part of the end where it says Finish Transition from Lobby to Host Online. This is good, it's what you want. Once you're there, click on the window and then hit Control C. There we go. It may take a couple times, I don't know why that is, but eventually it'll close the server down, which is what you want. Now you should have a, a folder in here um, called save game, that, that way you know it should down properly, but you also should have a file here called enshroudedserver.json. That's what you want to actually edit. So I always recommend Notepad++ or you can use regular Notepad. This is where you're going to change your server. So we're going to name ours MMG. Uh, I'm not going to put a password on it. Uh, save games, this is where it saves your game. You can change it if you want. This is where the logs go if you want to change that as well. This is your IP address. Most games want you to put your external IP address in here. 
But with this game, I think you just want to leave it at all zeros from what I understand. It works for me at all zeros, so that's what I'm going to recommend. But you may try putting your external IP address if you're not having any luck. And then these are the game ports. This is what you're going to want to have to open on your firewall. Um, your firewall is all over the place. So on your router, your Windows firewall, if your antivirus has a firewall, you want to open these ports uh, so people externally can connect to your server. So once you have all this set to the way you want, just go up here to go to File and Save. You can close that out. Now uh, we want to execute the server again. So if we double click on it and execute it, we want it to load again. And now it should load with our settings that we put in there. Now we want to see if we can actually see our server. So the next steps is to actually load the game itself. All right, now just load the game onto your gaming machine that you want to play on and then go um, join. You're going to see the server browser pop up here. It can take a while to load from what I understand. They're, the browsers are a little bit slow, so don't get too worried. Um, there is a search for a host name over here. We know our server is MMG. I'm going to hit confirm, and there is our server. We actually have somebody on already, so somebody's randomly joined our server. Oh, uh, man, they're going to be upset when I have to restart it. But anyways, that's how you would join your own server. Just click on it and hit the join button here, and you're good to go. All right, that's how you set up your own enshrouded server. Hopefully this helped you. Once again, please do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. It keeps driving me to keep making these videos for you free of charge. And if you want to support us, join our channel, become a member of the channel, and you'll get primary a, a ton of benefits. Primarily, my favorite one is I will answer your questions in the comments before anybody else's. All right, everybody, thanks for watching, and have yourself a great day.